It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. Wait a minute. That's from the tale of two cities. This is the tale of two stakes. And if we're talking steak, you know it's always the best of times. Smoking! There is a mystery about these two lovely steaks. They are really quite different. Let me tell you how. And we'll also get into those lovely parched rosemary butter drenched potatoes. What you see here before you are two very lovely but very different steaks. The one at the top is a Cook Cattle Farms grass-fed organic ribeye steak. Whilst the steak on the bottom is a Snake River Farms American Wagyu ribeye steak. The question is, how will they compare side by side if properly cooked? As you can see, the Wagyu steak is heavily marbled, as we would expect. The grass-fed organic steak, on the other hand, is quite lean, very dark red, and not much marbling at all. Right off the bat, I know that I'm going to want to sous vide both of these steaks so that at least the grass-fed has a chance at living up to the flavor of the Wagyu. We shall see. But before we do that, we need our smoking chips. So today, we will be smoking these steaks with a mix of hickory and mesquite chips for that more intense smoky flavor. So after a quick brine, these steaks go into the cold smoker for two hours. And right out of the smoker and into some sous vide bags, and we'll keep these steaks in the sous vide for an hour and a half at 138 degrees Fahrenheit or 58.8 degrees centigrade, perfect for medium rare. While those steaks are cooking in the sous vide, let's make a delicious side dish of parched potatoes with rosemary butter. To begin, I will take a pound of new or small red potatoes and boil them in a heavy salt water solution. Up north this is called salt potatoes. About a half a cup of salt with four cups of water. On the other burner, I'm melting a whole stick of butter with a couple of sprigs of fresh rosemary from the herb garden. And once the potatoes are cooked through so that you can push a skewer through them easily, I drain them, cut them in half, I then coat them with the butter and scatter them onto a cookie sheet. And into the oven they go. Here they will parch. I use that word for twice cooking the potatoes in this way as they get a nice crispy on the outside while bringing that soft and delicious inside. And once these are done, we'll place them on a loosely covered bowl to stay warm as we finish our steaks. After an hour and a half in the sous vide, these steaks are ready to be seasoned with salt, pepper, garlic, and onion powder and coated liberally with Wagyu beef tallow and then onto the grill they go. The grill is sent to 500 degrees and we'll get a nice sear and finish. Remember the steaks are fully cooked, we just want that crust and grill mark. Don't leave them on too long or you will have a well done steak and you know what Hank Hill says about that. What if somebody wants theirs well done? We ask them politely yet firmly to leave. Finally, to finish these steaks, I will baste them in butter and rosemary on a hot cast iron pan. Enough said. Let's get the butter on those parched potatoes, cut some slices of those beautiful steaks, and give them the taste test. Because in the end, that's what really matters. Well, there's only one thing left to do, folks, and that's try to take a taste. Let's try these potatoes. 
Mm. The rosemary butter on these salted potatoes that are just, they've been baked, so they're soft in the middle, just delicious and buttery on the outside. Mm. Highly recommended. Let's try a piece first of this. Uh, I'm going to cut a fresh piece here of this uh, of the grain fed or grass fed uh, beef here from the local farm. Delicious. The smokes through it. Definitely has some chew to it. Mm. A little bit of rosemary on there. Let's try this Wagyu. Oh, your knife just slices through it like butter. Mm. Mm. They serve steak in heaven. That's what it's going to taste like. That is off the chain delightful. Well, folks, I'd say this is a success. Definitely a wonderful meal. Only one thing missing. Nice cold beer.